Hi, I'm Dr. Emily Drender. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about a superstar food for weight loss. When you're on a weight loss diet, your food should have three key qualities. One, it should fill you up quickly and for a long time. Two, it should have fewer calories. And three, it should be rich in the other nutrients that your body needs. Now, there is a nutritious, tasty, and filling option that has all these three qualities. Soup. Soup is very filling for two key reasons. The volume of soup is very large, so it fills up your stomach and stretches it. The stretching signals to your brain that you are full. Two, since you eat soup a spoonful at a time, you eat it slowly. Eating it slowly gives your stomach and your brain time to register that you're full. These key qualities of soup make sure that it keeps you full for a long time. Number two, soup contains a lot of water, so it also has fewer calories per gram. A typical bowl of clear soup contains 130 to 150 calories, or approximately 10 to 12 calories per teaspoon. This calorie content, of course, would go up for soups with more cream or more butter, so clear broth-based soups are going to be a better option. Number three, foods that are low calorie but high nutrient are gonna be helpful to your weight loss diet. These foods allow you to reduce weight without developing any nutrient deficiencies. Soup is usually rich in other nutrients, especially if it includes nutrient-rich vegetables. So, how can you incorporate soup in your weight loss diet? First, substitute a hot, tasty soup for less filling, high-calorie snacks. Having soup instead of potato chips will help you feel full during more difficult parts of the day without exceeding your calorie targets. Two, add a soup to a light lunch to help you get through the afternoon with a tasty, low-calorie, nutrient-rich option. And one last, lesser-known trick, traditionally we start a meal with soup. So instead of starting a meal with soup, switch to a soup halfway through. After you finish your soup, you can resume your meal. You may not even feel like finishing your meal afterwards. As always, you should work with a qualified nutritionist to create an optimal diet that is both feasible and safe for you. Until next time, I'm Dr. Emily Drender. Thanks for watching.